Hi, Gareth here from Port Monkeys. Um, today we're on the Carnival Dream. Look, there goes an elevator. We are in the lobby, um, atrium, whatever you want to call it. It's about 10 stories high. That's, that's a skylight at the top. Got your bar here. They're welcoming, welcoming us back to the fun. Now all the elevators are coming down. See that? That's cool. Over there is guest services. We're on deck three, by the way. Deck three forward. We could go more forward. There's a lot of seating down here. And as you'll see in a minute, there's seating up there, too. So, first of all, though, we're going to go down. Down. There's Adventures, Carnival Adventures, which is short excursions. And they're not open yet. Um, elevators, these are the glass ones. And then these are the regular ones. So there's six of these and three, four of those. Hmm. And stairs. So we're on deck three, forward. The main lounge, the showroom, is around here to the left. But we're gonna go down a minute and see what's down there. I'm taking you down to deck zero. Morning. Medical center? Two Thank you. Right. Oh yeah. So here's the medical center. And they're closed. But now you know where it is. Down here where it says crew only. On the door. See that? So let's go back up here. And this, of course. This is the theater. Hi. Hi. Everyone's very friendly here. <laughs> how are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Great. <laughs> so this is called Encore, and I'm down at the ground level, which is deck three. You can also enter on deck four and deck five. That's the stage, of course. Got couches for seats, couches up there with dividers like every two people. And see, you can enter there, you can enter there, or where I just did, on either side. We happen to be on starboard right now. Port is over there. Starboard right, port left. So it's a nice theater, it's big, but it does have these pillars. And if you come in here and it's pretty crowded, you'll notice nobody's sitting in certain strips because you can't see. Anyway, Let's go back out. We're back in the lobby. There's the bar and the glass elevators. Um, there are computers in different places around the ship. Fun hubs. So these are computers you can use, disinfecting wipes. And I'm going to point out some others as we go. It's not one central only location. Now, there is a spiral stair going up to deck four. And another one going up to deck five. And here's the interesting thing. When you're down here on deck three, in the main lobby, the dream bar is there, you can't get anywhere else on the ship other than the theater. So there's no passageways. You have to go up the stairs, up the elevator, to at least deck four. So let's do that. I think somebody lost their pictures. I came up the spiral stairs and I walked over to here where I am. We're on deck four now. And this is the Pixels photo gallery here. See, and so in a few minutes they're going to open these garage doors and all our pictures from last night and the other nights will be here. If you go forward, you're in the Encore Theater, but it's, these doors are closed. We may go in there later. And if you look closely, it would appear you can't go anywhere from here either. But in fact, you can. And the passageway is right there. See, they keep it hidden. 
Here is the Page Turner Library. Guess only. More computers. Books. Not locked. Cutting across, there's a place called Rendezvous, and it's just a little lounge. And I'll look up and see what this is supposed to be, but I don't know. And this is the Crimson Restaurant. Crimson Restaurant. There's another restaurant, two story restaurant, just like this. Ah. This is what the Crimson restaurant looks like. And at dinner time, they open the doors down below that were closed, just like these doors. They'll be open. Let's cut back through the library. Came from the Pixels photo gallery. Went through the Page Turner library. This is the Crimson restaurant. Got a long way to go here before we reach anything else. We walked all the way from down there, and we've got some, some of the artworks hanging here. And I veered off to the right, and this is the midship elevator and stairwell. Midship. It's sort of a labyrinth to get to. And if I go a little further, I'm in the no smoking casino that they've recently added. So, it's got a few tables, a few machines, there's a bar, so they call this the Casino Annex, but it's non-smoking, so if you don't like smoking your casino, come here. Let's continue on. More artwork, more hallway, look at the ceiling. Stairway to Caliente and Ocean Plaza. We walked a little further aft and we have Circle C Kids Club. And it's closed right now. And they're playing that music pretty loud here. Even though nobody's here. And Club 02, that's for your teenagers. So the warehouse and the Scarlet Restaurant. And they're probably all closed this morning. Wait, Scarlet Restaurant's open for breakfast, so. Or sea day brunch. Probably have to enter from downstairs. See the people going in? So this is the Scarlet Restaurant. And they're having a sea day brunch here right now. And that's the back of the ship right there. You see out the windows, maybe you can see the water or the sky. This is the back, the very back of the ship. We came out of the upper level of the Scarlet restaurant. And we're going over to Port, left side. And this is, says it's the warehouse. And apparently the warehouse is an arcade. And it's crazy quiet for an arcade. And apparently you can get to it from other places. I'm gonna guess that's Club 02 in there. What do you think? Oh! <laughs> anyway, that's enough arcade for the day. Ooh, virtual reality. It was way back there though. So it's a pretty big arcade. We're headed back to deck five, but I just wanted to show you, there's a promenade out there where the lifeboats are, but we're not allowed to go out there. On maps of the ship, it looks like you could walk out there. It shows it just like the upper promenade on deck five. But in fact, 
it's completely blocked. Like this. All the doors say crew only. So we're heading up to deck five, back through the Pixel Soto Valley. So we're up on deck five now in the elevator lobby, the forward elevator lobby and stairwell. And I just wanted to show you, there's maps everywhere. There's even one over on that side. But all the elevator lobbies have these maps. Decks at six through nine are entirely and completely just staterooms. So the four decks above where we are right now are staterooms, so we're not gonna d deal with them. There are more staterooms up higher, but there's also stuff going on. So we'll get to that in a few minutes. Elevators. Here's the uh, wards you get when you make your maiden call. So, and this is upstairs from the, uh, in the theater. So this is what it looks like up here. And this is what it looks like from up here. So way up here, it's individual seats with cup holders, armrests. You see that? Anyway, this is deck five. So let's go out. We just came out of the Encore Theater. <laughs> the doors take a long time to close. And here's where you could go outside. We're on the starboard side. The front of the ship is right there. We're going to go out here for just a moment. The whole crew so far has said this, that I can't go out to the front of the ship. Which is up there. So I'm not sure if it's always like this, or it's not really windy, it's not rainy. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Here's an outside view of the ship. Balcony cabins all the way up. So I don't know why it's blocked, but it's been blocked the whole cruise. So let's walk aft on deck five. So deck five is where you have your shops. Front Street Jewelry. There's more shops over there. Port side is on the port side. Those puts a lobby down below. Because this is the ceiling, and then that's the ends it all the way up. Watches, hip fish. Beauty and fragrances. Cherry on top is a candy store. The carnival shop is souvenirs. We'll come back to those. Here's the top of the spiral stairs. Let's go aft. We're going to enter the casino. And this is the original casino, the big casino. And they allow smoking, but you have to be playing a machine to smoke, the sign says. Do they enforce that? I don't know. Do they smoke in here? Yes, indeed. But it's like all brand new machines. Right? I mean, some of these are the latest I've seen in casinos. And here's a casino bar. And you go around that way to the midship elevator lobby stairs you can get out here on deck deck chairs out there this is an area of a lot of things right a lot of things this is the real internet cafe fun hub this is where the most of the computers are the most <laughs> anywho Here's the alchemy bar over there. This is the coffee bar. Everything here costs money. Right? Groups perform here at night. The alchemy bar. And it goes back around here a ways. And also it goes out to Lanai. And it goes all the way around to the art gallery. That's the art gallery. We're not going to go in because we don't want to. 
Let's go back around to the starboard side. They call this area the Ocean Plaza, and I think it includes outside. There's hot tubs on both sides of the ship. You see that? So Ocean Plaza, this whole area. Let's keep heading back to the back of the ship. This is Banzai Sushi. Banzai Sushi. And appetizers, four bucks each. Rolls, five dollars, seven dollars for those. Um, so the prices are inexpensive, but it's not free. But it's not free. This is called the collection. And I think this is your art place. So if you're into that, There it is. I'm not going to go in because I'm not into it. More seating. Bye. This is Caliente. So this is a club, right? Dance. But they've moved all the chairs onto the dance floor. There are tables behind all those pictures. And I guess we're going to do art auction. Ship has a lot of dance clubs, though. So, or discos or whatever you want to call them. But that was caliente. Maybe it wasn't caliente enough, but... This is the shopping desk. And these are the shopping brochures. And she's getting shopping brochures. So now we're at the aft elevator lobby stair tower. Another inch of caliente. And this is Sam's Piano Bar. And notice the bar? Looks like a piano. See that? And there's a piano. I'm gonna cut out through here. Elevators are right here. This is the Burgundy Lounge. So this, at, late at night, is the Comedy Club. And they actually have a bouncer stand there. And they reach capacity pretty quickly. So if you wanna see the comedy show, at least in this day and age, you're gonna have to get here early and since I have late dining I can't get here early enough so maybe the 11 o'clock show I could get here for but I don't know we are at the very back of the ship now though okay so we've gone all the way on deck five six seven eight nine are all staterooms cabins I will show you the song another bar another stage told you they had a lot of them of course that was sam's piano bar elevator lobby stair tower sam's piano bar is right there this is caliente full of artwork this is a shopping desk we're going to go outside on deck five I call it the lanai. So we can go around to the back of the ship and go up the other side, the port side. But we're going to end up up in the front where they don't want us to go. So now we're at the very back of the ship. And there's some people back here. They've got the uh, Railing is covered with plastic for some reason. Maybe they just refinished them or they're getting ready to. So that's the way for course. We are somewhere south of Mississippi. Alabama. Louisiana. So in the Gulf of Mexico. So I came around to the port side. I wanted to show you that they have a seating out here for smokers. So umbrellas, ashtrays, and more. Hot tubs, two of them on this side, two on the other side. And it goes on and eventually you get to a rope that says crew only and you can't go around the, to the front of the ship, which you should be able to, but you can't. That's the ocean plaza right there. 
Might as well cut through that. The hot tubs have their own showers. Let's take a quick look in one. That's what it looks like. Guess that would hold about a dozen people. Ocean Plaza here. Inside here is where they seem to be doing their trivia most of the time. We've already been through here, but we're going to cut through to the other side. So I cut straight through. The coffee bar is right there. The alchemy bar is over there. Still on deck five. Another hot tub here. Another one down there. Went back outside. This is Guy's Pig and Anchor. And, um, i got to be honest with you, I was excited to eat here. And so on the first day, on invocation, we came up here and got a plate of food. And it, it didn't look very good, I have to be honest. Especially the macaroni and cheese, it was just white. But boy, did it taste good. Man, was it good. You gotta go here. Guy's Pig and Anchor. And it's free. While not the best thing about it, it's a good thing. And you can sit down and eat anywhere, inside, outside, carry your plate wherever you want. It's a cruise ship. Anyway, let's go back inside. Don't forget, Guy's Pig and Anchor. I thought Guy's Burgers were good, and they are. Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. That stuff was delicious. Well, next we're gonna cut all the way up to deck nine or 10. So, let's take a break here in Banzai Sushi, because it's not open. Got my mask. Anyway, see you in a little bit. And now, a brief message from stairs. When you're on a cruise, take the stairs as much as possible. Take them all the time. Once you start taking elevators, you won't be able to be on the stairs anymore. Now, if you can't do the stairs, then take an elevator. But I'm all about the stairs. So, use them. It's better for you. This is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying, Port Monkeys out. Stairs. Yeah. So as I said before, deck six through nine are only staterooms, as are decks one and two. So we've gone up to deck 10, and there are staterooms forward, but then the pool and the buffet are on this level. Here's the state rooms. So let's go. Go for all the way forward. So let's head aft. Came around through the elevator lobby. These are the glass elevators right here. This is the lobby. Down there on deck two. So we're gonna walk around here. There are State rooms on the side here. There's this little entrance way, let's call it. And this is the waves pool. Looks like we've given some tell animal stuff. They do have life vests for you. Lots of deck chairs. We're on deck 10. Deck 11 has chairs. Deck 12 has chairs all the way around. This is the Red Frog Rum Bar. We are in the port of Nassau, Bahamas. And that is another ship parked next to us. That looks like a Royal Caribbean ship. I'm not sure which one. Anyway. Waves pool. This is also movies by the sea or whatever they're calling it. We're going to go all the way down and then back up the other side. 
So this is Guy's Burger Joint. The condiments would be here. The burgers would be there. Very good. Very good. Now we're entering the gathering, which is the name of the buffet here. And they have self-serve ice cream and frozen yogurt. Now this buffet has lots of places to get coffee and juice and food. So omelets right here in the morning. Um, more food, more food. Plenty of fruit. Plenty of cleaning. We've come back further. It says breakfast grill. Every place in here is breakfast today. So more fruit. Um, eggs. Potatoes. More omelets. Right here. This is like the dessert area. In the morning it's the bread area. Muffins. Sweet rolls. We'll come to that stairway later. It's the Pasta Bella stairway. But first, we're going to go out back. Now, you can get to it that way or that way. We'll go across this way. Here are some of the lunchtime offerings in the buffet. Look at her, that's Irma. Yeah. And this is where you can get the sandwiches made, the Carnival Deli. They have all those. And I got him making them. Right in here, more tables and chairs. This is the seafood shack, and that's not open in the morning. This is where you can pay and have some lobster or local fresh catch or whatever. Pool, two hot tubs. Pizza. Pizza's supposed to be 24 hours a day. I'm not sure if it is in this day and age. I found the floor always sort of slippery. I just sliding. More food set up, and it says buffet is closed. Morning. You again. Another long line of tables. So we're back where it says breakfast grill. Over there, omelets. Here, lots of food and people. So we went back to the back of the ship. Here's omelets. Not too big a line here. They do omelets over there. This is the dessert area. I'm going to go up these stairs to Pastabella. It's not open today, but a lot of people don't even know it's here. You can also get to it from the very back of the ship, in the regular stairs and elevators. And it's an area that's almost always quiet. Hey, I found a duck! Awesome! <laughs> well, thank you, the Green family from Crosby, Texas. You can also get in here from around the big corner there and on the other side. But there's the omelet station, so that's people waiting in line to get omelets made. And this is your breads and cookies and stuff. And it's about 9 o'clock in the seagull. So it's not really crowded in here. But you can order pasta with any sauce and 
any kind of add-ons, shrimp, broccoli, whatever. It's very uncrowded because most people don't know it exists. So that's pasta bella. More frozen yogurt and soft serve ice cream. There's one on the other side now, report and starboard. So we're heading back out to the pool area. And this is the Blue Iguana Cantina. And in the morning, they make breakfast burritos. And in the morning, these guys have a closed station. Yeah, see, the crew's very happy to see you. Anyway, and they have their condiments, which are being set up. In the afternoons, you get burritos and taco bowls and whatever. I guess today is the day of the cow animal. And they are everywhere. Notice all the chairs. Now, would you throw that little dove away to sit there? Probably. We blew up one tequila bar so red frog rum bar across the way blue iguana tequila bar over here and that's pretty much all of Lido deck 10 because I'm not going to show you the cabins but there's cabins on both sides forward now let's go up these stairs so we're up on deck 11 and apparently deck 11 now starboard side is a smoking area like I said, lots of lounge chairs up here. They haven't put them all out yet. That's the buffet in there. We'll just walk the length of this. There's really not much happening on this deck other than chairs. Can you tell that ship is way bigger than this one? We're approaching midship. Another hot tub. Still a smoking area. I'm going to rush through here. There's the pool. So we have a pool in front and a pool here. Uh, deck 11, which I'm on. Deck 12. There's the water slide. There's the pool. Over there, on the starboard side, is a smoking area. Over here on port, non-smoking. We're going to go inside here. Deck 11, we're heading aft now. Um, and that brings us to Camp Ocean. So another kids area, ages six to eight, and ages nine to 11, and ages two to five. And it has this thing. So I'm guessing I can't get in there. And I probably shouldn't try. And I think these are closed currently, but this is where it is. Deck 11, aft. Let's go up these stairs. This is just going to take us outside. Let us up to the mini golf again. So the back of the ship is there. Front of the ship is there. We're now on deck 12. That would be deck 14. That little area with just lounge chairs I showed you. So. Let's go back some more. Remember, this is a smoking area. As you get towards the front of the ship, there's stairs going up to 12. There's glass doors going in to the forward elevator. Remember, this is the movies. Thank you. But there's really not much else up here on deck 11. Like I say, it's just a bunch of lounge chairs and smoking. and passenger cabins and the lobby let's go back out on the port side so i came back out waves pool no smoking on this side and nowhere to go ping pong table Let's go up to 12. Now deck 12, you have these kind of chairs here, but lounge chairs all the way down, both sides, and the uh, the drain pipe, one of the slides, 
racers, a, a two-person slide, slides. I think this is called waterworks. Go to the kids area. And there's another slide here, which is a double, as you can see. So I walk to the other side. Carnival Waterworks, what this is called. I think this is for kids, though. But double slide. Um, let's go forward. We're back on the starboard side. Still on deck 12. And this is the mini golf. And I don't know. I guess they have nine holes. Maybe there's 18 in there. We'll know when we get to the other side. Because that was two, and this is three. That's what it looks like. But we're all the way at the back of the ship on deck 12. There's deck 11, smoking. There's the sunset pool and the sunset bar. We could go inside here. just in the elevators and stairwell. And it's called Chef's Art. Chef's Art. So I went back outside, still on deck 12, starboard side heading forward. We're going to go up these stairs. I want to point out, this is the jogging track, okay? So there you have the particulars. One lap is 738 feet, seven laps is approximately a mile. Let's go back to these stairways. So we came up the stairs. This is deck 14. Carnival doesn't use 13. Some cruise lines do, some don't. And this is a basketball court. And I suppose you could play other games in there. But that's all there is back here. Uh, you can't go anywhere forward. So we're going to go back down. Go forward a little and then go back up. Let's cut across here just so you can see. There's nowhere to go. There's a passageway right there, but I think that's a uh, pretty old. I'm out on the basketball court, and you see there's a there's a deck there. But we can't get out on it because of the net. There's no place around. So let's go back down a little and go forward. Don't forget to measure up. Of course, he's floating, but... There we go. Me and the big guy. I went back down to deck 12. Heading forward. For three... Hole 18. So they do have 18 holes. There's the clubs and balls and stuff. You can go in right here. But let's go up. So this would be another little part of 14. And they've got some deck chairs. Not enough to fill this up. I haven't been up here when we're sailing. I don't know how many people come up here, but if you wanted some sun, this might be the best place for it. Or if you want to watch people play mini golf. Let's go back down and go forward more. Here's the slides, of course. That's where we're headed. We are in deck 12. That glass area right there is the top of the lobby, the atrium. When you down there and you look up, that's what you're seeing. Um, the slides we set open at eight. So, staterooms, elevators. Let's go up to 14 again. 
So they have lounge chairs here. This is the entrance to some of the slides. Closed. You can get in that way. This takes you up to 15. Come on deck 15. First they have a door across this. If you go up these stairs and you get on those two slides. They call it the twister drain pipe. Oh, twister and drain pipe. Well, I see, that's what it is. One slide is one and one slide is the other. Let's go around here. To me, this is a, a nice place here. There are these clam shells. I'm surprised nobody's reserved any today. This is Serenity, adults only. 21 and over. Not that it's naked or topless, but no kids allowed. So they got a hot tub, lots of seating. And it goes all the way around. Here is the spa. That's a stairway that leads up to it. Oh, it's just cut through. It's got an elevator. You don't want to walk on stairs. And then more serenity over here. So we are at the very front of the ship. See that? So we came back out of Serenity. Port side ship, left. I'm gonna go down these stairs and go in. So we're going in, right here. Cloud Nine Spa. Not much activity here today. You have to come through this way to get to the gym. So that's spa stuff. This is a workout room. Bathrooms, more spa stuff. That's the stairway up to Serenity that I showed you a minute ago. Let's go down one. Now we're in the front of the ship. I believe we're on deck 12. And this is the exercise area, the gym. Get your free weights, get your treadmills. Goes around there, you got um, other things. So if you want to exercise, I came in here a couple days ago and it was packed. Today there's only two people in here. And more spa. Hi. How are you? So there is a sign, Cloud9 Spa Gym. So you just walk through and the gym is there. All right, so we're in the forward elevator lobby, stair tower. Notice there's a big gap here for that. The stairs are only on each side up here. Spa Deck 12. So, I think you can see that um, our tour is almost over. Glass elevators. So we're back in the dream atrium. And um, I guess that's the end of our tour. So, Gareth from Port Monkeys saying, Port Monkeys out. See you in the next port. Bye. How'd you like that? He's here. Staying back to fun, Carnival. Ship's nice and uh, empty. Yes, we do wear masks. I took it off just now. 
There is nobody around me, as far as I can see. So I think that's the whole ship. I'm not sure, there might be places I missed. I'm back in the dream atrium to say goodbye. This is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying, Port Monkeys out, see you in the next port. Look up there. So, bye bye. This is what a stateroom passageway looks like. The room stewards are busy at work. Some people decorate their doors. Good morning. Can I say hi? Uh, yes, you can. Say hi twice. Uh, Anybody you want to say hi to? Um, I'm good. Okay. Watch for it on YouTube. All right. Port monkeys. Port monkey. Okay.